When I first met Jonathan, I was so happy to meet the person that I have been listening to for such a long time. I was introduced to his music when I was about 11, and I really fell in love with it. So from there on, I used it as a guide. I pretty much copied everything I heard off of his album, and more and more, I really started to love his style. And those were my first encounters with Jonathan, getting to know his music really well, meeting him in person, and getting to play for him personally. During my high school years and on, I have to say, Jonathan's music was still a big part of my life. Um, I was still trying to find my way musically, uh, but to some extent, I kept listening to his music. And even through the hard times, when I would not be inspired to play music as much or trying to learn different styles, there was something dormant inside of me. I'd have to say that was Jonathan's spirit. Currently, I've been finding my own way. I've been finding my music, and I've been finding my heart. I'm so glad that I've been able to connect these two together. And through all of this, I've known that Jonathan has planted a seed in my soul that is just starting to blossom, and I'm already feeling it grow. I'm spreading love through playing, and it's such a beautiful thing to do that. And so every day I play Jonathan's music in celebration of his life and spirit. And it comes around to make people extremely happy. And I'm thankful to be doing what I'm doing for the love of my music and Jonathan's.